She did this, we ended up at the body piercing hut, remember? That's right. It took us four hours to convince her that a lip ring wasn't going to enhance her natural beauty. Relax, girls. This surprise is totally piercing free. Now, take off your blindfolds. Ta da! Huh? The groovy smoothie shack? I don't get it, Clover. Are you thirsty or something? No. I'm here to sign up for the Miss Groovy Smoothie Beauty Contest. And you're here to support me. Huh? A food court beauty contest? You're kidding, right? I mean, you know beauty's only skin deep. Of course. I'm not kidding. And judging by the competition, I'd say I'm a shoe in for victory. Um, not so fast, Clover. This is my competition and mine alone. Nothing or no one is gonna stop me from becoming Miss Groovy Smoothie and launching my modeling career. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yes, it is. Because everyone who's ever won this contest has gone on to bigger and better things. And oh. I intend to join them, thank you very much. Now, why don't you and those cheap shoes of yours just step off? <laughs> the only thing that's cheap around here is your pathetic attempt at trying to get me to back down. Now, out of my way. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go plan my victory party. As F. Can you believe the nerve of that girl? Tell me about it. I mean, how dare she accuse you of wearing cut-rate shoes? I say we ditch them all, grab a many petty, and forget all about boring old Mandy. Deal. structure being quite this dark. Uh, Alex? Something tells me we're not at the mall anymore. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Jerry, shoulda known. Nice to see you, too. Now, allow me to brief you about your new mission. So much for that Manny Petty. We've just been informed that approximately a dozen models from all over the world have literally been stolen within the last 24 hours. What do you mean, stolen? We're currently en route to New York, where you three will go undercover as journalists at Fashion Week, a hugely important industry event where you'll have access to everyone who's anyone in the world of modeling. And you want us to see what we can find out about the abductions? Precisely. And now for the gadgets. Huh? This time you'll be utilizing the magnetic spring-loaded bungee belt in faux snakeskin, the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vest, a pair of hologram-projecting mood rings, the titanium drill heel boot for impromptu tunneling, and last but not least, the M-ray contact lens in aquamarine. M-ray? For seeing through metal. Now, goodbye and good luck, spies. I'll be in touch. <laughs> police, but this is ridiculous. Must be because of the abductions. <laughs> Man, talk about a mob scene. Everyone's here to see the new model huh? phenom gazelle. Gazelle? She arrived on the scene practically overnight, and the witch is already getting all the available modeling work. That means me and the rest of the supermodels are pretty much out of luck. <gasps> I think we need a better view.
never seen anyone so, so perfect. It's unbelievable. Better keep an eye on her, Alex. Right. <gasps> What's she doing? Taking off her gloves. Huh. Now that's odd. What? The skin on her arms and hands. It's all sorts of different colors. Different colors? As in her tanning beds on the fritz? Different colors as in the Bride of Frankenstein. Maybe she's not so perfect after all. How about we go backstage for a closer look? Now remember, we're supposed to be journalists, so act professional. Ew, nast! Not exactly the professional demeanor I had in mind, Clover. Hi, Gazelle. I'm Sam from Trend of the Moment magazine. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed the show. Thanks, but the truth is I owe everything to my agency. Really, I wouldn't exist without them. Yes, and <gasps> we wouldn't exist without her. I'm Helmut from Picture Perfect. I represent Gazelle. She single-handedly put our agency on the map. You're a modeling agent? That's right. So you'd know if I had what it takes to be a model? <sighs> My philosophy is that everyone has something about them that's perfect. In your case, it's your legs. So, you're saying I'm bottle material? Sorry, not quite. Come on, Gazelle, you need your beauty rest. Hmm. Gazelle, wait! You dropped your... <gasps> ear? I've sent the ear to Whoop for analysis. Our next move is to investigate Picture Perfect. Picture Perfect, please. I mean, what kind of pathetic agency are they anyway? Take that helmet huh? guy, for instance. He calls himself an agent. He would know a model if she sashayed right into him. Come again. No matter what Helmet says, I know I'm model material. Special delivery. Huh? Uh, it's from the Groovy Smoothie Shack. It says I'm a finalist in the Miss Groovy Smoothie Beauty Contest. <laughs> this proves it. I am model material. Oh. Ouch! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Oh, good. We wouldn't want anything to happen to our favorite potential beauty queen. Ah! Ah! Oh, her! Ah! Ah! Stretching out my perfect legs! Ah! They're trying to shake us off! Ah! 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 Okay. That was a little too close for comfort. Speaking of comfort, you want to get me out of this thing? Ah! Ah! Huh? Help me! Quick, look inside the helicopter and see if there are any clues. The pilot has the picture perfect logo on his jacket. We better call Jerry. Hello, ladies. How's the big apple? Rotten, Jerry. Clover's been kidnapped. Oh, dear. That's the second time this month. What do you know about the Picture Perfect Modeling Agency? Well, let's see. Uh, apparently, it's run by an ex-model named Tuesday Tate. Their headquarters are in Sydney, Australia. Journalist from Trend of the Moment here to see Tuesday Tate. <gasps> you aren't on Ms. Tate's schedule. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> is it me, or is there something very familiar about that woman? Not to mention something very rude. Looks like we're gonna have to enter Picture Perfect the hard way. Never underestimate the power of a good accessory. Oh. Looks 
more like some kind of high-tech clinic than a modeling agency. <gasps> I wonder what's in here. Hey, check that out. Those are both gazelle? Man, talk about a split personality. Jackpot. Gazelle's donors. Stacy, Amy, Anna, Kelly, Gretchen. Sam here. Hello, ladies. I thought you'd be interested to know that the ear you sent me belongs to a model who was abducted last week. Her name is Gretchen. <gasps> Sam, that's... that's one of the names on the donor list. Donor list? I, I know what it seems like, Alex, but how could it be possible? Ahem. <clears throat> can I help you, ladies? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. We're journalists from Trend of the Moment, and... And we're here to interview you. Okay, but you'll have to make it snappy. I'm leaving soon for a model search in New Zealand. So, I hear you used to be a model, Miss Tate. Uh, why did you quit? I injured my leg at a photo shoot two years ago. It was a circus theme, and I was to play the role of lion tamer. Unfortunately, the lion tamed me. Now I have this. So why don't you uh, tell us about Picture Perfect and how it is that you've achieved this sudden success? Tuesday speaking. Oh, I see. Would you ladies mind moving to the waiting room down the hall while I take this call? No, not at all. No problem. Those two are definitely trouble. Well then, we better eliminate them. I'd say our interview's just been cut short. We better find Clover before it's too late. Get them. We have to get to that restricted area we found earlier. It's gotta be around here somewhere. That's how they created Gazelle. Right now, there's someone else out there running around with my perfect legs. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna get all of you out of here. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We can't just let you leave and risk you telling the world about our little secret. Why are you doing this? Leave me alone! <laughs> it's simple, really. I want to create an army of perfect models so that I can dominate the industry that destroyed my career. Couldn't you just steal yourself a new leg instead? I mean, it seems like a lot less trouble. Hmm, you've got a point. But somehow my evil revenge plan just sounds like a lot more fun. Well, it'll never work. Perhaps you'll feel a little differently after my demonstration, darling. Hey! Those are my legs! Correction. They were your legs. Now they belong to Picture Perfect, just like your friend's body parts are about to. Prepare to be modelized. Since I'll be getting plenty of new donors from all around the world at the Auckland Convention Center, I'm quite ready to dispose of you. Dispose of us? Yes. We're gonna dump you in the ocean, where you'll join a school of ferocious man-eating sharks for lunch. <laughs> about you girls, but I'm not ready to be fish food quite yet. Me neither. Even if I do look like a science experiment gone bad. Trust me, we'll be out of here in no time. Fine, I'll trust you. Just promise me you'll stop smiling because your braces are blinding me. Huh? Now 
Nice going, Sam. What's our next move? Since we can't get into the cockpit, I'll get the pilot to come to us. Just be ready for him. and stop Tuesday. That's a great idea, except for one thing. Now that you've knocked the pilot unconscious, who's gonna fly the plane? <gasps> okay, why am I doing this? Because the pedals are really hard to press and you're the one with the uh, stout, powerful legs. <sighs> right. Oh, that skin, it's magnificent. We can definitely use you. I'd say your toes are among the loveliest specimens I've ever seen. Your picture-perfect material for sure. Now, why don't you step inside the model I... Uh, I mean, the photo booth, so we can take some pictures of you. That should be plenty. In a matter of minutes, we'll have ourselves an army of picture-perfect models. We've got to get them out of the modelizer before they end up pieced together like us. It's locked. Don't worry. I'll find Tuesday and her key. There she is, on the other side of the convention center with Helmet. Better get moving. Machine. You want the key? Go get it! Great. This is gonna be like trying to find a nail file in a haystack. Well, you'd better hurry, because once the modelizing process is complete, it'll be irreversible. Just a new feature I've added to the machine. What are you doing? Trying to locate the key with the Compowder fingerprint scanner. Bingo! Now let's get back to the girls. What about these two? Don't worry, we'll take care of them. So, you're sure about this? You're definitely dropping out. Absolutely. I've thought it over and I've decided that I've had enough modeling and beauty contests for one lifetime. The whole scene's just way too evil. Besides, ever since I got my legs back, I remember how gorgeous I truly am. I don't need anyone else's validation. I always knew you were beautiful and smart. Well, that's too bad, because you would have won. <sighs> but since you dropped out, I'll be awarding the first runner-up your $25,000 cash and your brand new convertible sports car. Congratulations, Mandy! Thank you. Thank you, one and all. $25,000? Huh? Wait, I was only kidding. It was a joke. I want to be Miss Groovy Smoothie. Oh. So much for Clover thinking the whole scene is evil. 